Hey, it's John Hink, and I'm going to talk to you about this final step of setting up Cloud Point and that backup together to complete your cloud protection. First thing you have to do is you need to go figure out your DNS name for your Cloud Point server. You take that over and you just input it in the cloud and Cloud Point server section. Once you've validated and accepted that, the next step is going to be to put in the username and password that you created during the initial Cloud Point setup during when you were figuring out, filling out that CFT. Once you put this in, click add, and it will add the server. What, what happens at that point is it starts uh, discovering all the assets um, that are in, uh, in this case, in AWS, and it will start working with them. Uh, in the meantime, let's start with a couple of things so that we'll configure a protection plan. So uh, protection plans basically are defining how you want this you know, protection to happen. Um, there's a number of different ways you can do it. We're just gonna run through the basics of how you set this up. And so I'm gonna create a protection plan. I'm gonna say it's a cloud protection plan. And then I hit next. Uh, of course, for any plan you need to schedule, I'm gonna keep this relatively simple. Um, the usual schedule processes is there's a frequency, um, daily, every hour, or whatever you wanna do. And then there's a window. And inside that window is when those things happen. So this UI, the way it works is you can select, you can type things in. There's a number of different ways you can do it, but I'm just gonna kind of pick a range for one day. And then I'm gonna use the duplicate option to go through and duplicate it for the other ones. That's all I have to do. I've got my window open and then following the frequency I defined, uh, the uh, protection will get implemented. Uh, there's other options here, like if I create snapshots and I replicate them between to, between regions, I can do that here and set all that up. Um, and a few other options like that are available. You hit next, there's also the idea of doing granular recovery for files and folders. This allows, it's basically you turn this on, it means that there'll be some indexing done of uh, VM instances or virtual instances if you back them up. And finally, here's where you can add some roles if you want to, if you want to restrict this to particular roles. So we do finish and it's done. The next thing you have to do after this is, well, let's take a look at our Cloud Point server. So we added it here. Discovery is still running. Uh, so it's going through and finding some assets. So why don't we go in and um, why don't we add a setup for a, another cloud provider? So uh, by default, it's working in AWS where we deployed it. And the next one, uh, I think, um, Maybe we should try Azure. So let's go add a configuration for Azure. So for this, it's gonna basically need a couple of things. It's first of all, in case you have multiple cloud point instances, you wanna pick the configuration you know, host you wanna use. You do that, you give your config setup a name, and then you put in your tenant client ID and secret key. Of course, mine are hidden, so for security and whatnot. Uh, once this completes and saves, um, it's gonna start discovery for those assets as well. Um, so we'll run through those. Um, might have to give it a few minutes sometimes to get it done, but from my my perspective, I think it's been pretty good at doing it pretty well. So if I go in here, yeah, look at so I got some AWS ones that are here right now, and uh, here's some volumes and some other things that might show up. Um, let's take a look at one of these clients. Okay, here's a, here's a you know just a regular AM, uh, AMI based instance that's running in EC2. So there's more there, but I think we could do even more. So let's go back to the guide setup. These particular workloads, right? So this walks you through setting up workloads. Um, so I already done my cloud assets. It's going to go and find them. And oh, you look at the Microsoft ones that showing up now. So once again, I'm running this on AWS. It's in e, you know, in you can control these EC2 instances, these applications in AWS, but it can also see into Azure, and you can manage this protection from one place. Next thing I'll do, add protect. I'm going to take a, pick a protection plan. I hit complete. And there you go, it's protected. So that schedule I set up will take care of it and that will get everything you need done. Once again, so you go back here and now you can see that they showed up as protected um, and those protection plans will apply to different instances. That's what we did. So what do we cover? Authenticating cloud point and net backup, adding additional cloud providers, protection plan setup and assigning protection. Thank you, I'm John Hink. It's been wonderful talking to you about this and I hope to speak to you again in the future.